All right, good evening. Looks like a great crowd. Who's, who's the uh, concert tonight? <laughs> it's not us. Uh, anyhow, I'm uh, Scott Taylor. I'm chair of the Planning and Zoning Committee on the Kansas City, Missouri City Council, and I'll uh, introduce my colleagues in just a second. Uh, but I'm really, uh, we're really excited to be here tonight. We have an opportunity to, to potentially take uh, that will, we think have a great difference and positive impact on Kansas City uh, with the, uh, the renovation of Kemper Arena, the historical preservation and renovation of Kemper Arena. And I think we have a, a history. We like historical preservation in Kansas City, don't we? Yeah. We are going to get into a lot of the details at the hearing after the tour uh, in just a few minutes. But what I wanted to do is just give you a little uh, a summary of what we, where, where we are now. So first of all, we had a, a selection committee that was formed. We had a lot of the, almost every city department was involved. Uh, one thing I think we can all say is we are uh, highly impressed with our city staff, their thoughtfulness, their questions. They've really uh, been rigorous in this process and that's good for the city. So let's give the city staff that's been involved a hand. I also want to thank Councilwoman Shields and Councilwoman Lohr, who will be, uh, may be here later for the uh, hearing. Uh, they uh, served and volunteered their time, extra time, uh, to serve on the selection committee with city staff. And so we had several meetings with the two proposers. We did a nationwide uh, search and had two individuals, two entities step up uh, with ideas. Uh, and we couldn't have done this without uh, Councilwoman Shields and, and, and uh, Councilwoman Lohr. Uh, real quick, uh, many of us here have great memories of the old Kemper Arena, as, as we do now of the new Sprint Center. And if you look behind me, uh, we're joined by, I think, Rod Stewart, uh, Kenny Rogers is over here, uh, and others. And uh, this has been a great uh, place for memories for Kansas Cityans. And so uh, the uh, uh, issue we have is, though, it's difficult to have these types of events here today. Uh, obviously, we uh, have the Sprint Center now. It's a great asset, one of the busiest arenas in the country, and, and we love it in Kansas City. Uh, we thought, uh, or, or some thought, that, well, we could do uh, uh, other events in Kemper Arena that may not go to Sprint uh, Center, and that was like the uh, truck pull, the tractor pull, the monster truck. Well, the, the uh, facility now uh, versus uh, Sprint Center, where everybody wants to be, uh, they won't even come to Kemper Arena anymore, so we, we've got to do something different. Uh, the cost to the taxpayers is about $1 million per year. We're paying just to keep this building in existence with just a couple of events, uh, events a year uh, that don't really generate revenue for the taxpayers. Uh, we've also, uh, I think this council has spoken on our feelings on historic preservation, uh, but the only uh, uh, other option on the table uh, other than what we're going through now in this process is to demolish Kemper Arena. And uh, from a taxpayer standpoint, the issue is that the cost of that could be uh, five or six million dollars, which the taxpayers would have to pay. If we deconstructed it in a green uh, friendly way, that could double the price up to 10 or 11 or 12 million dollars. Uh, the other issue we have is if we keep this open uh, for those few events like graduations and uh, uh, cheerleading competitions, we have just a couple of those a year uh, that are private events. We have a deferred maintenance list that uh, Oscar uh, has mentioned to me is, uh, could be up to another $10 million in the next five years, which would be on the taxpayers. So uh, the time is right. Uh, the uh, other thing that, that everyone's aware of is that we've been paying bonds on this, uh, you know, first in the 70s and the 90s for the uh, renovations. We just paid those off. So the taxpayers now own this free and clear. We have the ability to do something with it to transfer it to the private sector for a uh, better use. Uh, I want to thank the two respondents to our nas national uh, search uh, request for proposal that we did. We actually started this in the last council. We took a pause and said, let's check nationwide, see if there are any developers that have other ideas. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Fouch brothers and the Stevens brothers uh, management company from Wichita for, for submitting bids. Uh, they have uh, both provided their visions to the uh, selection team uh, comprised of the uh, multiple staff people at City Hall that I mentioned and uh, elected officials. And uh, tonight we're excited because this will be the first public meeting uh, of this process. Uh, as we've been going through the procurement process, we've had to be very quiet for our procurement uh, rules and regulations. So uh, we're going to hear about the plans for a youth sports complex 
that will bring year-round activity to the West Bottoms and spur economic activity that will support small businesses in the West Bottoms. And that's a good thing for Kansas City. Do you agree? Okay. Thank you. I agree, too. Uh, I want to just mention that many questions were asked during the process. Uh, there was much information that went back and forth requested from the selection committee of both parties. Uh, but tonight we'll hear the preferred vision for the new Kemper Arena, and we're going to discuss this in a lot more detail at 7 o'clock, so I won't go into all the details. But what I'd like to do before we take the tour is uh, I'm going to bring up uh, the members of the Planning and Zoning Committee uh, and let them say a few words very briefly. Uh, and then um, also mention, uh, you may be asking, why are we doing this at night? And I can tell you this committee and this council uh, felt it was important to get outside the City Hall for this meeting to have it in the West Bottoms, to allow uh, especially uh, people that live, work, and, and play in the West Bottoms to come out at night, uh, make it easier for people that work during the day to get to this uh, hearing uh, versus going to City Hall and going to floor 26 and parking and all the fun stuff. So uh, that's why we're here tonight. We thought that was important. Uh, we're going to start the hearing at 7, and uh, we'll take as much public testimony. We have a lot of people here. Uh, you'll have plenty of time. We want to hear from you. Uh, much like the small business committee that I chaired in the last council, we went till 11 o'clock at night sometimes when we did these meetings out in the community, but it's important uh, to do it. Uh, we also have a, a rule that I didn't tell the vice chair of the committee, Mr. Barnes, about that uh, if we go past 10 o'clock, it's up to the vice chair to buy pizza for everybody. So, <laughs> so he... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but before we do that, um, I just want to turn it over. And, and before we go to the committee, actually, uh, Councilwoman Shields has been part of the selection team. I'd ask her to say a few words. Thank you. Councilwoman Shields. Thank you so much, Scott. It's great to be here this evening. This is one important step closer to the preservation of this historic local landmark. Uh, this building is iconic not only because of its structure and the fact that it's part of uh, mid-century modern architecture, but also because of all the events that occurred here. Concerts, sporting events, political events. This was really the place when so, where so much of the history of Kansas City took place from the 1970s on through the 90s. And so I'm very excited that we have this opportunity to preserve this venue. I'd just like to call out a thank you to Historic Kansas City because I believe without their work on behalf of this building being advocates for its preservation that in fact we wouldn't be standing here today uh, or if we were we would be on a cleared lot rather than inside a building so it's very important to have involved citizens and historic Kansas City is just one of the great um, activist groups that we have in this community. And now I'd ask uh, Vice Chair Lee Barnes of the Planning and Zoning Committee to come up. Yeah, thank you, Scott. This is an opportunity for us to use resources that we have at our disposal to, and turn them into something that the co entire community can, can be uh, satisfied and happy with. Uh, it is my hope that if we are able to move this project forward, that the Foucher Brothers will work closely with other private partners, uh, other private partners and particularly those in the, uh, in the urban core in the community, to make sure that we have an equal access for this, uh, this event, this, uh, this venue. So it is my uh, pleasure that we are able to move forward with a, one of our assets that uh, was somewhat uh, being deteriorated, and now we have a chance to revive it and move it forward. Thank you, Lee. And now I'd ask uh, Councilwoman Heather Hall to come forward. Thank you very much for being here. As um, a planning and zoning committee member, it's really important that we continue to preserve the items that we have here in Kansas City to make them better and especially work with private partners to continue to be successful here in Kansas City. But as the vice chair of the Small Business Entrepreneurship and Jobs Committee, it's especially exciting for me to know that we have local entrepreneurs here in Kansas City who are willing to um, go out and make something out of this great building and continue to let it thrive for years to come. And then finally, as a parent um, of children who do activities, this is something that's much needed. And in my district in the Northland, we are looking for places for our kids to play sports and I'm glad that this is going to be a place that will be more convenient. So we're really looking forward to it. Thank you.
And there is a, a lot of council interest and support for this. I'd like to bring up uh, Councilman Dan Fowler. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Uh, I am not a member of the Planning, Zoning, Economic Development Committee. Uh, Kevin and I are members of Transportation Infrastructure. But uh, I'm very excited to see the possibilities here. Like many of you, I'm here to learn. I'm here to see uh, what the proposal looks like. This will be uh, my first uh, true opportunity to look at it. And uh, I'm very excited about the possibility of turning this into a uh, asset that is of, of benefit to the entire city uh, and rather than what it is right now. So uh, I'll be very interested to see what happens uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much for coming. All right, thank you, Dan. And now I'd like to bring up my colleague from the 6th District, uh, Kevin McManus, and let you know that I think there's an opportunity. He's on the uh, Smart Cities Board and doing a lot of work with that. There maybe is a great tie-in with this project as well. So, Kevin McManus. Thanks, thanks Scott. I, I just want to thank you all for being here. I said to somebody when I came in that this place is packed. And on, on an evening, uh, on a Wednesday night, it just shows a level of interest, not only in Kemper Arena, but in the West Bottoms. And I think there's just so much excitement about this area of the city in particular, whether it's tying in with what we're doing downtown in the Smart Cities Initiative, or tying into really honestly the momentum that's happening throughout the city, even as you get out to our district out south. So I'm just excited to be here like Dan to learn, uh, serve on the Finance Committee. I'm interested in learning how we can move this from an asset that is frankly a drain on our, our as a liability to a productive asset that is encouraging private investment and growth in this area. And I'm frankly excited to kick the tires and walk. And so with that, I, I want to go around and see what this Kemper Arena is now, because I remember it, frankly, just from, from going to uh, uh, concerts and comets and the Blades and all those sporting events that many of you went to. Um, so I want to see it firsthand and, and see what we're dealing with. And so with that, I'll turn it over to Scott or whoever else you want. But I am uh, encourage everybody to, to attend the tour. And I want to thank the, the committee for setting this up on an evening so that all of us can, can get that uh, level of interest and insight into what we're dealing with here in the West Bottom. So thank you. All right, it's time to take a tour, and Oscar mentioned that we may break it up into two groups. I think we have to. We have a, quite a turnout, so uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. We'll take the tour.